So we're at the Alibi tonight for Clacy, and uh, we've got a great lineup, a lot of wave, a lot of grime, a lot of like, you know, interesting emerging sounds that are coming out of London and the UK. When I started out, obviously, I um, was, was quite well known for being involved in the early days of grime and early days of dubstep, and I think that my whole career has been built off of like the involvement I had with the beginnings of both of those sounds in London. So ever since that happened, I've been like eager to find like what's next, what's next for London specifically. Like I've heard a lot of genres come out of um, like Chicago. We've had footwork and you know like the Baltimore club and we've had stuff like that come through. And it's like oh, there's genuine sounds and scenes happening. But what's happening in London right now? What we're seeing is the absolute evolution of wave music. It is the it, it's evolved enough to be its own genre and. That's what I think is the most exciting about it, is because if you come to a wave show these days, um, you, you're hearing something that's absolutely, you know, brand new, and that's the most important thing. I mean, we've been starved of club nights for a little while in terms of like experimental side of things. We've been kind of flooded with house and techno, which we've heard. The only reason we all started doing this was it's kind of like a like a rebellion against regular dance music. We just liked making weird electronic music that didn't necessarily have like a home or have a venue to be played at but we were like well we fucking like it so as long as we like it we'll put it out it's a collective effort from you know it's a, from an international standpoint where like the listeners are global where like with like the early dubstep scene it was just created and then it evolved and it was london you know evolving and, and these days um it, it's just moving at like an incredible rate you know yeah, someone asked me this earlier because I was clicking on the door and they were like, what kind of music is that? And I was like, uh... you're going to have to sit down for like five minutes because I'm going to go in. <laughs> it's kind of unpretentious in that it doesn't claim to be anything new or like groundbreaking. But for me, listening to it, it really is. It's like, it's a whole new morphosis of bass music. A lot of stuff that we've grown up listening to, you know, like you can hear grime in there. You can hear dubstep influence in there, but then like, you can hear that kind of like US rap and trap influence in there, but it all brings it down, it tones it down, it's not obvious, it's not like in your face as much as like a lot of the genres that we've seen as offshoots of like trap and EDM, which is for me a lot closer to home. Like it, it reminded me of like that building club scene, building club genres, community. There's a really strong community for this sound. We've got producers in South America, we've got producers all over like tiny countries in Europe, you know, like everywhere has their scene. Poland has like a really big wave scene that have events every other month. You know what I'm saying? Like, I reckon that limits how together wave can be. Never, no, nah, not at all. The opposite, to be honest. I feel like there's so many people doing it and repping their cities that it's only going to be a year or two till everyone knows what we're doing. And it's going to get to a point where I can fly out to Canada and I'm as respected as I, as, as I am in, in London. I guess just trying to do something that isn't the norm of dance music and that brings a bit more kind of emotion and I guess beauty into it without being like too corny. Like we're kind of all on the same page now that oh, actually it's called Wave and I think it works better man instead of just being like oh, it's, it's weird trippy hip hop or whatever people can just go all right I like Wave music I want to search Wave music on Google and then a bunch of articles come up. What gives you faith in that? I think the community is what gives me faith in it, to be honest. Like, the music's great and the music obviously has to back it up, but with good music you need you need like workers, you need people who are willing to like just bleed sweat and tears like for the genre. That's when you know that like we're onto something, definitely onto something here. Hi, my name is Chris Reed. I'm a freelance biscuit photographer. I take pictures of biscuits doing extreme sports. And so how long have you been working on your biscuit extreme sports collection? It's been a side sideline of mine for a few years now. We've been building on it, been waiting to release it. We're the website's ready to drop. Uh, yeah. It was cool, man. And then... This guy! <laughs> Get a shot! <laughs> 